Can you imagine a world without taxi drivers? A world without airplane pilots? A world without delivery people? Can you imagine a world where farmers are a thing of the past? Or where your fast food meal has been cooked without any human intervention? Artificial intelligence, virtual and augmented reality, 3D printing, drones, and robotics will all contribute in changing the world we live in. What will our future look like? Venture with me to a sci-fi trip 60 years in the future. It is now the year 2078. Your AI assistant, Ayo, wakes you up in the morning by opening the curtains, playing your favorite music, while the smell of your animal-free breakfast fills the house. In case you're wondering, your breakfast is being prepared by Pira, your kitchen robot. After the upgrade that happened in 2051, Pira can now cook food from over 100 countries. She can even suggest dishes that are right for you. Ayo prepares your self-flying electrical drone to transport you to work. Being in the medical field, you're a very busy person, and no, you're not a doctor. Doctors became obsolete a long time ago. They now call them MEs, or medical engineers. And their supportive staff include nano-drone pilots, biomedical technicians, and research and development personnel. So you got to work. On the way to work, actually you didn't get to work yet. On the way to work, Ayo starts telling you about your schedule for the day. You know, when someone is in the medical field now, it's easy for them. Usually people go to them for diagnosis or operations. It's unbelievable how now you can use your handheld device to perform simple procedures and diagnosis, such as full body check, X-ray imagery, and stitching. For more complicated procedures, nano pills are swallowed orally and guided directly into the conflict zone for rectification. Imagine that. For in, in the world we're going to live in, in the future, things are going to be so different than today's. You finish your work and during working, Working hours are so different than today's. The labor laws have changed. Working hours should not exceed five hours a day. I hope my employees are not here today. <laughs> At 1.11 p.m., all humans and most machines are on a two-hour break. And during this break, people can enjoy much more free time spend more time with their families, sit in the sun, learn new things, or simply enter the world of augmented reality, a recreational world of augmented reality where everything is possible. Who would like to go there? <laughs> there, there. There's a big fuss on ICS. ICS is your all-in-one communication system. And the fuss is about whether genetically engineering a superhuman is ethical or not. People have been discussing this topic for quite a while now, for decades. And there will be a galactic referendum for all humans to decide whether editing human genes will be allowed or not. Now, there's a lot of speculation that this has been done secretly before under the mask of military programs. Yet to have this become as a mainstream product is something that scares you to the bone. You're scared that people would no longer want to have regular babies. People will always want to have the super-enhanced babies that are much smarter, stronger, and will live longer. This is a bit scary for you, and the frightening part in the story is that sooner or later, the superhumans will realize that they no longer need their parents and ancestors, 
and will most probably get rid of them. Given all that, you will be voting against the bill. On the way back home, Ayu reminds you that you have to help your daughter Tay with a school assignment. The assignment is about cash, a term they learned in e-school in history class. As you all know, cash ceased to exist a long time ago. It has now been replaced by a new form of digital currency, similar to blockchain, yet, yet much, more, much more advanced. And it uses a quantum computing technology and hardware. One night, you get a call informing you that the testing of the first YNT machine, or yesterday and tomorrow machine, will be taking place on June 30, 2078. You had registered at YNT 15 years earlier, but to be frank, you never thought this moment would ever come, as YNT is a company that promised to give humans the first time travel machine. And the first time travel event you will undergo would be to go back in time 60 years to the year 2018 to gather vital information on climate change, water pollution, and plastic waste. Now, your mission to the year 2018 is very specific. You need to get information on what caused the poisoning of the Mediterranean Sea in 2026, and what was being done as climate change measures. In addition to that, you need to get information on the level of plastic waste in 2018. Now, everybody at YNT is tense, yet confident. The team has been working on this project for quite a while now. Yet to be able to go through the jump, you have to go through physical and mental trainings. And the trainings are severe. And during these trainings, the team of YNT is preparing you on what you will witness in 2018. Traffic jams, fossil fuel factories, animal food, plastic waste, Cars that required drivers. Whew. Can you even imagine that? And worst of all, a cash-dependent economy. Now, the trainings were really hard for you, but you wanted to get through with them. On the day of the jump, June 30, 2078, Ayo prepares your drone to transport you to the campus where YNT labs are located. Now, the labs are located at LAU, which was once used as a university campus a long, long time ago. And that was way before they created e-universities, data brain uploads, and other e-learning technologies. Now, the campus is still owned by LAU, but it's been used for the past 30 years to launch technical and technologies that are essential in human development and advancement. Getting to the, to the YNT offices, you're very tense. I mean, this is not a joke. It's a time travel jump. Anyone tried it before? Actually, someone has. I'll, I'll prove it to you soon. So they put you in this white chair that revolved uh, along its own axis. Now, the sound that the machine made was massive. You can only imagine. And apparently, it needed as much electricity as the whole city of Beirut. When the jump was getting closer and closer, your heart starts pumping, your pulse racing, and suddenly you see this very strong flash of light that fades to turn into a neon light in one of the university labs. You then realized you haven't seen a neon light before. The jump was successful. It is 2018. Getting out of your chair, you see a student community that you've only read about in e-books. The level of communication between them was shocking for you. People were laughing together, eating together, chilling together, and interacting together. While walking around the campus, 
You see someone, you're approached by someone, a tall, handsome guy, yet bold, <laughs> who claimed that he was going to talk and give a talk about the future and what the future will look like. You then realized that you should give some words of advice. Dear friend, please tell the people you will address today that the future will be very different than what they know or what they could expect. The future, the world of tomorrow, is filled with technologies that we can't even understand. Yet, let the people who are listening to you today keep an eye on sci-fi literature, movies, and books. Just like Star Wars science gave us lightsabers, holograms, and levitating technology, the future of technology will be seen in movies. And the, the technology of today has been seen in movies long time ago. Yet the most important message I can relay from the future is to take care of Gaia or planet Earth. Stop using non-renewable sources of energy. Eliminate plastic usage from your everyday lives. Reuse, reduce and recycle. Treat the planet as if it's the most valuable thing you have, much more valuable than your own lives, because it is. As per the American Indian saying, we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. Thank you.